Brazil it is so hot in the summer. It is insane. I'm here at Inhotim Park. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it was it's a modern art park made by a billionaire. Like, what else do you got to do if you're a billionaire? I'm just gonna build a house, build a modern art park, and uh, everyone comes here and just relaxes. And there's 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 an indoor pool with like art surrounding it, and just an insane amount of modern art here. It is an incredible place. It's an amazing place. Um, it is a playground <laughs> for people that have money. Um, I have this statue behind me. Uh, you can't really see it here, but I will show it in the video. It's been an awesome day. It's been a relaxing day. I have been really enjoying my experience here, and uh, I hope you guys like this place. I hope you guys decide to come to this place. Unfortunately, coming to Inhochim uh, was a perfect picture of how Brazil is, of the in inequality here. That's not really what I, what I wanted to talk about, but I came through a bunch of poor cities and towns and favelas and places that were just um, poor. And the inequality here, the, the rich and poor live right next to each other. It's really an incredible thing that I never saw in the United States. Obviously, we have poor areas, but we don't have rich living on one side of the road and then the complete impoverished on the other side, literally on the other side of the road. Road. Um, it's it's pretty incredible but uh, on to more positive things I hope you enjoy in Ho Chi Minh because I am uh, I got my palm tree shirt on because there's a whole bunch of palm trees here which is I don't think is native to Brazil so that's definitely cool and uh, it's off to the next spot we got everything we need right here ride to the next stop <laughs> uh, no I had to pay 30 bucks but how cool is this uh, so I'm going around this entire park uh, it's gonna take me the entire day I'm gonna grab some food uh, it's a little bit dark I said in the last vlog that Brazil is full of art and culture and beauty and this is the culmination of that well there's a lot of things but this is probably one of the coolest places that I've been that shows that, that demonstrates that. So, on to the next spot. <laughs> oh, look at this spot. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, man, I don't know why no one's taking advantage of this spot, but since no one's here, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the view, drink my drink, and enjoy this cool ass spot that no one is taking advantage of. Um, if you do wanna come to Brazil, I recommend please the first thing that you need to do is learn uh, Portuguese that should be the one and only goal before you come here it's so important where you get when you get here obviously because it's a Portuguese speaking country but to get a job to go down the street to buy food to do whatever you need to do you're gonna have to speak Portuguese I, I know a lot of people that from other countries that come here I'm just gonna go teach English and everything's cool and uh, you know I'm gonna take in Portuguese dictionary with me and uh, it's it doesn't work. I mean, there are people that have been here for like seven years, which is pathetic and don't speak uh, one word of Portuguese. Uh, I know people like that. Americans, actually. Shame on you, Americans. Um, but if you do decide to come here, it should be your number one priority to speak Portuguese. Uh, if you do planning, if you are planning on staying here for a long time, but... Um, and you can come by yourself and enjoy places like this and you don't have to like worry about translating and all these other things you can just come here and enjoy buy a beer relax look at this and just chillax and you know go wherever you want to go it's just more difficult and portuguese um is super important here you know i have people asking me questions like oh you know can i just come to brazil and you know wing it and try and find a company american company and uh, because English is so important, they, they need people that speak English there, right? That, you know, does work with international companies. Yeah, but you need Portuguese. So that's my advice, for sure. Tip one. Team Ho Team for the win. I'm back at the house and um, it was an awesome day. Unfortunately, it started raining. Like I said, the weather is 
atrocious in the summer. It's really hot or it just rains. So I think um, actually today is Saturday. I think it's going to rain today, tomorrow, and all of the coming week and next week. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make a video. Um, I do hope you enjoyed Inho Chim. I do hope you enjoy all my videos. Um, I am here at the new spot. It is a mess. Um, I need to continue to <laughs> organize it. I've just been so busy with videos, with uh, work. Um, I also teach English, uh, as you know, if you watch the channel. Um, but it is noisy. They're doing construction work. I'm sorry, but if you did like this video, give a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Até logo, gente. Tchau.